What is going on guys, it's 42 Sports here, and today I am back with another college football prediction video, and this time it is between the Florida Gators versus the Georgia Bulldogs in the Florida-Georgia rivalry game at TIAA Bank Field in Jacksonville, Florida. Time is 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time, October 27th, 2018. Coverage will be on the CBS Network. This game is a desperation game for both teams because Florida is ranked 9th in the country and Georgia is ranked 7th in the country as well. If Georgia loses, their chances of making the college football playoffs is very, very slim because Alabama looks like they're going to rock and roll through everything. And LSU may, may have a chance to go all the way as well if they could beat Alabama and also win in the uh, SEC Championship. Also, Florida, Kentucky, there's so many good teams this year in the SEC. Kentucky could possibly be the underdog or the sleeper team in the SEC East. So Georgia has a handful this year with a lot of good teams because if they lose this game, they're going on the road, I believe, next week to Kentucky and, or their home. They're going to have a tough time. I mean, this year is a lot different from last year. They struggled um, against... Who did they? I forget who the. Oh, yeah. Georgia lost to LSU. They got dominated by LSU away at LSU. But they could be the same thing as last year when they lost uh, last year and then they came back and all the way almost won against Alabama in the SEC in the national championship game. Uh, Florida has done really, really well. They're 6 1, 4 1 in the conference in the SEC East. Georgia, same thing. 6 1, 4 1 in the SEC East. And they, this this team is gonna be, or this game is gonna be really, really good. I'm gonna do a little something different today, uh, but I will explain it at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and go through, as I always say, my videos, the season leaders, and the team stats, and the matchup predictor. Okay, so the matchup predictor has Georgia over Florida by 69.8 percent to 30.2 percent. All right, so the top season leaders. For uh, Florida, we have Felipe Franks uh, with 103 to 182 completions to attempts, uh, 1,406 passing yards, 15 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. He has done really, 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 really well uh, with Dan Mullen's new offense, and he's just done a lot better this year than he was last year. All right, Jake Frum from Georgia, uh, 99 uh, completions to 148 attempts, 1,409 passing yards, 13 touchdowns and four interceptions. He struggled a little bit. Who knows? We could see Justin Fields uh, in this game. Uh, could be different. Who knows? All right, for Florida, we have uh, Jordan Scarlett back with the team. He has been a big help, a huge help for Dan Mullen, uh, for the Florida Gators uh, rushing offense. 70 carries, 381 uh, rushing yards, and three touchdowns. For Georgia, Elijah Hollyfield, hey, that's my uh, first name. Uh, so there you go. You just know my first name. <laughs> All right, 64, 65 carries, 488 rushing yards, four touchdowns, really good as well. Uh, for Florida, for receiving uh, wise, we have Van Jefferson with 19 receptions, uh, 265 uh, reception yards, and four inter or four touchdowns. My bad, I'm about to say interceptions. <laughs> All right, so now we have Georgia. We have uh, Miko Hardman. If I pronounce that first name wrong, I'm sorry. Sometimes I usually get uh, first names or last names wrong uh, to pronounce it. All right, so he has 24 receptions, 358 uh, receiving yards, and four touchdowns. All right, lastly, now we go to team stats. Florida, for points per game, they have 34.4 points per game, while Georgia has 39.0, almost similar to Florida's. All right, points allowed per game. This is huge for both teams. Florida, 16.6 points allowed per game. Georgia, with a three with a less than three, then I don't really know why they put 16.3 or point three. I guess because the field goal. Uh, so they only allowed 16.3 points uh, per game. Total yards, Florida, 408.3 while Georgia has a 461.9. That's huge. All right, so yards passing, we have Florida, uh, 211.0, while Georgia has a whopping 20-plus uh, uh, total yards of passing, which is 
uh, point six. All right, yards of rushing. This is huge as well for Georgia, uh, for Georgia as well. But they're almost close to each other. So uh, Florida has 197.3 yards uh, rushing per game. Uh, we, while Georgia has 226.3 yards allowed on uh, defense. Florida uh, 323.3 while Georgia 310. Oop, my bad. I just hit the uh, table. All right, so passing yards allowed. We have Florida. This is huge for Florida. 160.1. While Georgia 174.3. All right, rushing game. This is gonna be a problem for uh, Florida's uh, offensive game for rushing because Georgia has 136.3 yards allowed in rushing, while Florida has 163.3. It's both. I, I believe it's gonna be a defensive game. It could be a sloppy game. It could also be a high-scoring game. So as of now, I, I usually predict the final scores for both teams, but. I'm going to let the comment section uh, predict the score and tell me why your team is going to win and who is going to win uh, this game this Saturday. I'm going to let uh, everyone just discuss it on the comment section because that's where I like having just a conversation with different uh, fans from their different fan bases and uh, see what their opinion is. And, uh, yeah, so it won't be biased towards uh, different teams just, just to switch it up a little bit. Uh, it's going to be a really good game. It's going to be a close game. It's going to be an intense game. Uh, Georgia might win it. Florida might win it. Who knows? It could be uh, go both ways because both teams are both in desperation mode uh, this weekend. All right, so guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. This is a college football prediction video, but I'm going to let you guys decide who is going to win and why. And guys, 42 Sports here. Like, comment, and always subscribe. Uh, we're close to 700 subscribers, and also we're close to 1,000. So guys, once again, see, you, uh, see uh, everyone. Have a great day. And...